So here's the problem. Car accidents are the leading cause of death among US teens. A major reason for this is that today's cars may be safer, but they're also much faster. For example, a modern Volvo is now faster than an 80s Ferrari. Let me just repeat that. A Volvo sedan has become faster than an old supercar. Since many teens learn to drive in their parents' car, this can lead to serious problems. Here's what happened to me when I was young. When I was 16, for some reason, my dad thought that letting me drive his car would lead to imminent death. So, being the wise man that he was, his solution was to buy me a 1976 Volkswagen Beetle. A gold 1976 Volkswagen Beetle. No matter how much I thrashed that thing, it could barely keep up with the other cars on the road. His solution must have worked, as here I am today, all grown up and mature, telling you this story. Since it's not realistic to provide a gold 1976 Volkswagen Beetle for all the teens of America, we thought, what if the same car could have two speeds? Full performance for dad and limited performance for the teen. One car, two speeds. So how would the car know who was driving? Simple, with the use of two different keys. Here was our first idea. First, the parent inserts the normal key. The parent then adjusts the speed and the power of the car using special knobs on the dashboard. These settings limit the performance when the teen is driving the car. Next, the parent gives the special key to the teen. Finally, as the teen's driving skills improve, the parent reprograms the special key to increase performance. The obvious problem with this first design was steps two and four. Programming the system would be too fiddly and complex for the parent. So we redesigned these steps to become a three-level push-button panel. The team would start at level one and move up levels as driving skills improved. We called our idea the Vehicle Performance Restriction System, or VPRS for short. At the time, I thought the name was quite catchy. In 1999, my friend Travis and I entered our design into the New York International Auto Show Smart Technology and Design Competition for the Big Cash Prize we're feeling quite confident. So, did we win? Not quite. But we did receive a runner-up award and a somewhat smaller cash prize. So I was quite pleased. Or was I? You see, I hate to lose. I can't find the photo that we took that day, but I looked something like this in the picture. 12 years after the competition in 2011, I looked back on our project to figure out why we hadn't won. After all, no car company had thought of our key idea yet, and teens were still causing car accidents. I felt the idea was still valid today. During the competition in 1999, we heard that the judges had had a hard time understanding our concept. Huh? So, I revisited the four steps of our idea and realised that even after our revision from Design 1 to Design 2, our concept was still too complicated. I decided to get rid of step 2 altogether. The special key should simply limit the performance of the car to a preset level, with no adjustment possible by the parents. This would also change the final step. When the teen becomes a good enough driver, the parent simply hands them a normal key. And here's what the new, much more simplified version looks like. I also renamed the idea, the safe key. From beginning to end, this concept has gone through three stages. As you can see, each time the idea becomes much simpler. In the decades since I first worked on this project, I've learned that the most simple way is the best way. To clearly explain the safe key concept to others, I designed a simple print ad. The top of the ad starts with the massive tagline, Play Safe. Underneath the word play is dad. He's wearing an eye patch to show that he's still a fun-loving rogue. On the other side is the teenager, who has an old-fashioned pipe to show that the safe key will make him responsible and level-headed. In between dad and teen is a suitably fear-inducing statistic warning of imminent death should the safe key not be used. 
Below that is a pic and a blurb explaining that his key will unleash the mighty and ungodly power of the new Volvo S80 T6. Below teen is a pic and a blurb explaining the safe key, a magical device that will transform this mighty car to Buddhist levels of slowness and tranquility. The ad ends with the important summary, the all new Volvo S80 T6, now with safe key. I'm sure that if I had designed an ad like this back in 99, the judges could have understood our idea much more easily. Now all I needed was a DeLorean with a few added options so I could travel back to 1999 and win that damn competition. Of course, our DeLorean would be equipped with a safe key for obvious reasons. Thanks for watching. Underneath the wordplay is dad. He's wearing an eye patch to show that he's th th uh, bollocks.